The Tropicana, one of Las Vegas' oldest and iconic resorts, shuts down today, marking the end of a 70-year run. And guests from all around the world are saying goodbye. A goodbye with a bang. Viva Tropicana, Viva Las Vegas. I literally came straight from the airport and I asked the driver to take me straight to the Tropicana. I have lots of memories I couldn't even tell you about here. Claire Knight and her daughter were one of the last to check out. They flew here from Scotland. It's been a really sad experience and also all the machines are starting to go off and be shut down and it's just quite sad. 600 employees stayed till the end. Over 100 joined in the final farewell, including some from the hotel's past. I was about 19 years old with a fake ID coming in from L.A. Brad McLennan was once the front man of the casino's mob-inspired attraction, as the hotel itself was mob-tied in its heyday. People would dress going through a casino. They actually cared about what they looked like. All the time we would come visit Dad at work. The goodbye, a family affair. Doorman Dean Davis closed his last door with his daughter and his grandkids by his side. It just seems a little surreal with it, that it's coming down and everybody just uh, connecting and uh, lots of hugs, a lot of picture tape. It's really hard to say goodbye. And an emotional Eric Knowles, Tropicana's general manager, locked its glass doors, marking the end of a nearly seven decades surviving the ever-changing Las Vegas Strip. It's not about the building, it's about the heartbeat, and that's, it's, it's all about them. It's all about the heartbeat, it's the team. Now we're told it's expected the Oakland A's will build a stadium on the old Tropicana site. The demolition will begin in October. Earlier today, our sister station in San Francisco, KRON, confirms that the A's and the city of Oakland failed to extend the lease of the A's staying in California. But they're planning to meet again, so stick with us as these meetings keep going and as we find out if Utah is the future site for either the athletics or even a possible expansion team permanently here in Utah. Stay with us on the air and at ABC4.com.